In this session, we will analyze how to build a model of a heatsink. What is a heatsink? A heatsink is a component in computers that is used to reduce the maximum temperature reached by the CPU. The metal fins provide increased surface area, and this improves the amount of heat drawn away from the CPU and exchanged with the surrounding air. So, how can we build a model of this? First, let's analyze the shape and plan how to build the model. This is a technical drawing of the model. It is a typical sketch used by engineers to provide the information on the dimensions of objects in real life. We can use these drawings to guide our building process. What you see here are different views of the same object. From the top, side, front, and so on. The numbers tell us the measures of the different parts so that we can always replicate the original model. I know, this can be a little confusing, but don't worry. We'll explore as we go and understand how to use it to have the right dimensions for our model. Look at the drawing. The base of the heatsink is rectangular. We can sketch it and use the pull tool to easily create it. Once we have the base, we can build all the other features easily. The second step can be the creation of the four holes for the mounting screws. They are equally spaced from the sides and have the same diameter. We can create one using the pull option and then copy and move it to create the other ones. This would reduce the number of operations we need to perform. The fins all look the same, right? They're all the same size, straight, equally spaced, and if we look at them from the top, they have a rectangular shape. We can sketch a rectangle on the base and copy it as a pattern so that we can keep the same dimensions and spacing among the fins. Then we can pull all of them up to complete the model. All right, we've got our plan. The steps are creating the base first, then the holes and the fins, and also we planned how to make each element. Let's get started. Open a session of Discovery, close the welcome screen, and click New to start a new session. Before moving forward, go to the Display tab and activate Fade Scene for convenience. The default mode is Explore mode, where you can add physics to the model space. However, for the model creation process, we want to be in Model mode. First, set the Plan View. Plan View is found in the bottom left in Discovery. Select the Rectangle Sketch Tool, and then activate the Draw From Center option. The Options panel in the Heads Up Display, or HUD, shows you all the additional options for the tool you are currently using. Click in the center of the drawing area and move the mouse. As you can see in the drawing, the base is 130mm wide and 50mm high. In order to draw a precise sketch, you can type those values and use the Tab key to move among the dimension fields. Press Enter. Return to the 3D view by pressing D and press H for the home view. The pull option is already activated, so select the rectangle. The drawing shows that the base is 5mm thick, so press the spacebar and enter 5mm. We completed building the base of the model. Now let's create the holes. Select the top face of the base. Set the plan view. Select sketch circle. Then hover the mouse cursor over the left top corner of the base and tap the shift key on the keyboard. As you move the mouse, the distance from the corner is displayed. Place the center of the circle at 5 mm from the left edge and negative 10 mm down from the corner. This identifies the center of the first hole as shown in the drawing. Set the diameter as 5 mm and press enter. Go back to 3D mode and press H to go to the home view. Select the face of the circle and pull it down. This generates a through hole all the way through the base of the model. Click the Move tool, and then select the face of the hole. 
Press the control key and select the handle matching the X direction. Click and drag to create a new hole and then type 120 millimeters to place the new hole in the correct position. While holding control, select both holes. Then click and drag the Y handle to duplicate them. Enter a value of 30 and press enter. We've created the four mounting holes. Let's move on to modeling the fins. Select the upper face of the heatsink. Set the plan view and enter sketch mode. Select sketch rectangle and use the shift key to define the position of the first fin. From the top left corner of the heatsink base, move the mouse right along the upper edge by 9.75 millimeters. Create a rectangle of 5.5 millimeters in width and 50 millimeters in height. This is the base of the first fin. Click select and click and drag a box to select the rectangular profile that we just created. Select the move tool and activate the create patterns option from the HUD. Select the arrow matching the X direction and drag it. Then set the number of instances to 11 and the distance between them to 10.5 millimeters. You can switch between the dimension fields using the tab key. Now switch to 3D mode by pressing the letter D on the keyboard. Select the first rectangular face and then go to the Advanced Selection tab on the bottom right of the Discovery window. Click Power Select and choose the option Faces with the same area. As you can see, now all the rectangles in the pattern are selected. Activate the Pull tool and press the spacebar and enter 70 millimeters as the fin height. We now have completed the model. Let's now explore some additional features using this model. First, let's see how we can make it look more realistic. Click and drag a box around the model, then go to the display tab. Click the color swatch to expand the color menu, then set the color to light gray. The colors panel can also be accessed from the heads-up display or the HUD. Select the body, then click on the right side of the HUD and hover over the Select Color option. This will show the colors panel for changing the color of selected entities. We can modify the way that the model is shown using the options from the Display tab. Shaded gives a realistic look to the model, and Enhanced Shaded makes it look even cooler by adding some lighting effects and shadows. The wireframe, hidden line, and hidden line removed options are useful to better visualize complex models. This option allows us to change the rendering styles. We can set it to be metal, plastic, and other options available here. The next option down allows us to toggle the transparency. You can also change this display style from the view arc. If you want the ultimate realistic look, you can also remove the lines from being displayed by selecting solid from the edges option. Now it looks like a real metal piece. Last, let's discover a few additional options. We discussed sketch mode and 3D mode, but there is a third mode here. That's the section mode, and it lets us visualize a cross section of the model. Select this option and select a horizontal plane by hovering the mouse on any horizontal face and then clicking it. Let's say that now we want to change the plane because that was not the correct one. Click on new plane 
and choose a vertical plane like this one. Now, click on Move Grid and use this arrow to move the grid and see the cross-section of the object. Remember to save the file before closing. Go to the three stripe file menu button in the top left corner and select save. Congratulations, you've just completed the design of the heatsink.